टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द वेरी हॉट टॉपिक दैट इज रिजर्वेशन रिजर्वेशन स्पेशली विद रेस्पेक्ट टू गवर्नमेंट सर्विसेस और एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट हेलो एवरी वन आम संजीव कुमार फैकल्टी एट यूज इन आई एस टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द वेरी हॉट टॉपिक दैट इज रिजर्वेशन रिजर्वेशन स्पेशली विद रेस्पेक्ट टू गवर्नमेंट सर्विसेस और एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट सो रिजर्वेशन रिमेन इन द डिबेट डिस्कशन एंड ऑलवेज इट सीम्स टू बी वेरी मच कॉन्फ्लिक्टिंग इश्यू मीन्स ऑन बोथ द एंड्स you may favor it or you may oppose it the section of society which receiving the benefit of reservation seems to be happy and demanding more and more reservation day by day contrary to it the section of society which is facing the problem of reservation which does not enjoy the benefit of reservation rather facing the complexities in taking the government services taking the benefit of government scheme particularly within educational institutions and in government services so yesterday that is friday 17 november punjab and haryana court quashes the decision of haryana government the bill which was passed enacted in 2020 that was haryana state employment of local candidates act 2020 so this act was passed in 2020 by haryana government actually in 2019 assembly election in haryana state assembly election jjp leader made an announcement dusyant chotala JJP leader made an announcement that if party comes to the power then it will provide reservation in private institutions or private companies societies trust as well so in private sector within the private sector the party will provide the reservation so this act was passed in 2020 received the assent of governor of haryana in 2021 and it was enacted or it came into in force on 15th jan 2022 it was enforced what were its proposal it proposed 75% reservation in private sector private sector comprised of private companies society trust and different other institutions which are not state is sponsored initially it was proposed that up to 50000 rupees the monthly salary if employee is receiving then the company which are running the organization private organization institutions which are running within the state need to reserve 75% jobs 
for the local candidates for the local people of haryana but later on after protest or a strong response from the industrialist or business section of society it was reduced up to rupees 30000 per month salary so this act quest by punjab and haryana high court on 17 november 2023 several petitioner from the industrialist group of society raised the concern or filed the petition in punjab and haryana high court that it is against the constitutional provision it is violating the provision of equality it is violating freedom of profession trade business etc so it is violation of article 14 15 article 16 or article 19 typically article 14 and 19 which talk about the equality and which talk about the freedom of profession so based on violation of the constitution the haryana or punjab high court declared it unconstitutional i hope this is quite clear to you but we have very long journey with respect to various reservation provision so now have another very hot topic with respect to quota the reservation quota which has entirely generated a new debate not with respect to only the caste census which should be held within india in almost all the state or with respect to reservation as well since independence it is the first time the caste census took place and one of the pioneer state in this matter is bihar so recently bihar held a caste census since independence political party used to offer used to award the reservation provision to obc section of society to sc or st section of society to different caste and communities without having the precise or exact picture how many people how much percentage particular section of society held its possession within the state means without knowing the exact criteria of percentage of different section of society so bihar took initiative of having the caste census when caste section uh, this caste census happened within the bihar and uh, its result came then there was different picture with respect to percentage of different section of society so based on this criteria the bihar government recently revised its reservation policies or provision so bihar government increase extremely backward class reservation from 18% to 25% extremely backward class as per result of econ uh, as per result of caste census it increased the economic backward class reservation from 18 to 25% further it also increased the reservation provision in educational institution and government services from 16 to 20 percent for SC section of society for OBC section of society it increased from 15 to 18 percent and with respect to ST 
it has increased its reservation from 1 to 2 percent if we add the 10 percent reservation of economic weaker section into the raised limit of quota to 65 percent then total reservation seems to be 75 percent within the Bihar now people of general community have a sense why this only 25 percent left by the state government a state government can also offer reservation little bit more extended so let's do 100 percent reservation for weaker section of society for backward section of society so it seems to be unjustified our constitution promise right to equality our constitution promise no discrimination with respect to caste race religion sex place of birth etc our constitution promise about equality of opportunity in matter of public employment but the state government is providing the reservation it seems to be very much unjustified but different section of society also claim that how we can treat unequally as equal how we can treat unequally as equal you can go through the quote of Bihar CM Nitish Kumar the survey has provided us the survey has provided us a comprehensive data we will use to introduce more measures for uplift the socially educationally economically backward section of society i will be glad if census to uh, center to agree for caste census throughout india so this is the quote or the statement made by bihar cm so let's talk about equality and equity although we have both the provisions of equality as well as equity equality of law as well as equal protection of law within article 40 so consider these are the people suppose this is backward section of society consider it deprived section of society who does not have equal resources to be uplifted like other sections of society who historically being exploited by upper section of society for very long time period and at present does not have adequate natural resources or the state resources so suppose that if you charge a ticket for match equal to all the people then some of them may not be able to offer it further if you provide equality like this then deprived section of society the smaller section of society the weaker section poor section of society somewhere remain out of enjoyment of the match cannot have the facility of entertainment cannot observe cannot watch this match because he does not have adequate resources because he does not have the adequate length height so that's why he cannot until or unless a state will provide something reservation this is reserved push for weaker section of society now almost all section have equity 
now the ticket for match you can keep the same there is no problem because you have already pushed this child up as well so here we are noticing that you know equal provision you cannot have for all section of society talk about tax you know generally progressive in nature means rich need to pay more tax poor don't need to pay direct tax then don't need to pay income tax further various other charges which paid by the very rich people like surcharge need not to paid by the poor person so can you justify that tax should be collected from all the people equally if you cannot justify it how you can justify it that there should not be any reservation how you can justify it that some of the people hold very large resources natural resources like land or various other uh, you know forest resources maybe mineral resources etc they have ownership over them which are provided entirely by the nature while a different section of society left aside from capturing or holding possession over such resources so definitely we cannot treat all the section of society equally we need to provide something reservation let's talk about a family in family if there is a disabled child disabled person then definitely parents need to little bit support more to a disabled person similarly state also need to support more to disabled person if state cannot provide or if state does not provide the required resources for disabled person i hope they can never beat the section of society which is very much privileged has no problem have all resource so first make people equal then let's allow free competition if people do not have education resources accessibility to good institutions accessibility over the food resources over good uh, health facilities etc then leaving people in the competition without any kind of support is not justification we cannot create a just society then in such condition society can will be divided into different different groups and they will demand for creation of their own separate state because they do not have adequate representation naturally suppose that if uh, consider st is 8% on and average sc may be around 16% consider obc section is 27% economic weaker section is 10% so state services should also be occupied naturally need to be occupied in similar proportion then we can dream a developed nation the vision of just society creation of just society suppose that if top section of society only few caste only small section of society capture more than 50% of the job capture 80 to 90% of uh, seats within the educational institutions then in such condition the deprived backward section of society somewhere feel very much isolated very much dissected outside from the main stream of society now question arises with respect to reservation policy that 
This Bihar government, although increased its reservation from 50% to 65%, if we include 10% economic weaker section of society, then total reservation is 75%. So question arises, does it violate the constitutional provisions of 50% reservation that limit set by Supreme Court in Indra Sahani case? In Indra Sahani case, the Supreme Court fixed the limit that total reservation cannot exceed more than 50% except in extraordinary conditions. Now, what kind of extraordinary conditions existed within states like Bihar, Tamil Nadu, Chhattisgarh, Rajasthan? Means there are series of states, now they are breaching the limit set by Supreme Court 50% with respect to total reservation. Now just we are going back little bit in the history. We are talking about Janta government, Janta party. So when Janta party came to the power, it was the time period of emergency. Indra Gandhi imposed emergency from 1975, which came into end after 18 months around June 1977. So when this emergency came, then election was conducted and uh, against the atrocities during the emergency time period imposed by Indra Gandhi government, particularly by Sanjay Gandhi. So large section of society was not happy the kind of rule, regulation, the kind of vision forwarded by Indra Gandhi, including Sanjay Gandhi. So, Janta Party came to the power. And Janta Party was very weak government. I mean weak government means the large coalition partner. There were so many parties which come together only to form the government. And one of the main agenda was to remove Indi, uh, Indra from the power. So that was the main agenda. Now this Janta Party government when came to the power, then it promised during election time period that if we come to the power, we will provide reservation or we will appoint a commission, then proceed for the reservation for large section, OBC section of society. Now, reservation for OBC. This reservation for OBC remain under the question mark for very long time period. Means after independence, our constitutional framers made the provisions or our parliament made the provisions with respect to reservation for SC and ST section of society. But uh, on very large demand, Government of India in 1953 appointed Kaka Khalelkar Commission. This Kaka Khalelkar Commission appointed by government in 1953 which look into the existing structure of society. It found around 2400 backward classes, a backward caste. It founded that a large section of society belongs to the backward caste, socially and educationally backward. So what this Kaka Khalilgar Commission proposed that reservation should also be extended for OBC section, other backward caste within India. But in 1961, government of India rejected it because it was looked as 
violating the basic provision of equality violating the basic uh, aim objective of our preamble caste less society a secular society without having any kind of discrimination so in 1961 this was rejected when janta party came to the power in 19 78 then it appointed commission it appointed a commission mandal commission mandal commission was appointed in 1979 on 1st jan 1979 then it uh, look into the matter and found around 3700 you know backward caste in india around 3700 backward caste in india means it held that around 27% section of society belongs to obc so this janta party did not rule for very long time period it collapsed because it was weak government form after large coalition then when this janta party again came to the power in 1989 then it tried it tried for implementing the recommendation of mandal commission it tried for providing the reservation so at that time vp singh was the prime minister and he declared that there should be 27% reservation for obc section of society he also made provisions of total reservation SC ST OBC around 50%. He gave little bit priority for poorer section of society. Then in 1991 Narasimha Rao government made two small changes. Gave priority preference for poorer section of society within the OBC. It emphasized that within obc there is a section which is more deserved which actually need the reservation it also made provisions for 10% reservation for economic weaker section of society but not by amendment rather it was provided by executive resolution by resolution of the cabinet so just after this announcement a large protest started to gamble across the university delhi university and several other university colleges in large number the student uh, joined the protest against this award at the time even one very bad incident also happened against this reservation one student of delhi university born himself so there was large gathering happening around this uh, extension of jhande wala this incident uh, was also captured by indra sani indra sani was the journalist indra sani journalist inspired influence or motivated from this incident then very soon she challenged she become one of the main petitioner against the reservation policy of the government that now there is very low or no 
स्कोप फॉर अनरिजर्व सेक्शन ऑफ सोसाइटी द जनरल सेक्शन ऑफ सोसाइटी फील समवेयर हर्टेड by this award of the government so in 19 1992 the case was decided by supreme court of india initially there was two judges uh, three judges bench then this three judges bench further promoted to five judges bench then seven judges bench and finally this case was decided by nine judge bench and within nine judge bench six were in favor and three were against six were in favor three were against the reservation policies of the government so supreme court at the time stuck the 10% reservation for economic weaker section of society supreme court held that the economy cannot be the sole criteria for declaring the backwardness economy cannot be the sole criteria for declaring the backwardness now what kind of question posed by indra sahani yeah what kind of arguments what kind of arguments made by indra sahani number 1 it was related to violation of constitution means the preservation policy of government of india very large amount of reservation which government uh, extended for other backward section of society is violation of constitutional provision right to equality right to equal opportunity in matter of public employment right against discrimination so it is violation her second question indication of backwardness caste can not be substantial indication of backwardness means caste cannot substantially justify the backwardness education backwardness ya socially backwardness ya health backwardness yeah economic resources backwardness caste although up to large extent it represent supreme court with respect to several data record etc verified it that in india at that time i am talking about 1992 although the structure of society is now changed okay at present it become further difficult to keep one of the substantial ground caste as for reservation policy so see also question about the caste backwardness means backwardness socially or educationally backwardness cannot be substantially decided by your caste further see question about efficiency of institutions means if reservation we will enforce then definitely the person who will occupy the reserve post may not be as efficient as any person who is facing the competition and possessing particular position so these were three questions further they made several questions just like violation of constitution if we talk about article 16 then article 16 itself uh, you know talk about equality of opportunity in matter of public employment 
फर्दर आर्टिकल 16 सब क्लोज फोर टॉक अबाउट स्पेशल प्रोविजन ऑफ बैकवर्डनेस लाइक एस टी एस सी ओबीसी सो डज इट अगेंस्ट द प्रोविजन मेड बाय आर्टिकल 16 सब क्लोज वन there should be no discrimination among citizen on the ground of religion caste place sex of birth with respect to employment employment under state services so is this exception or is this countering the first provision yeah it is separate provision Similarly, Article 15 provided no discrimination, but it also held that make a special provision for enforcement of socially, educationally, now economically backward section of society. So Supreme Court, uh, you know, it was very difficult. So that's why from three judge bench to nine judge bench, the size of bench also increases the complexity. also increases so in its verdict supreme court held that creamy layer should be excluded from obc obc reservation the creamy layer means it is it depends on the state what should be the limit like 8 lakh for creamy layer means a particular section of society earning more than particular limit set by the state then it should be considered as creamy layer and creamy layer should be treated just like the general class or general caste no reservation in promotion only in initiation means only for initial stages for joining the state services government services or educational institution the reservation can be provided but not for successive state further total reservation should not exceed 50% except in ordin ordinary extraordinary condition and or a commission can be established for obc so later on obc commission means now it is a constitutional body also established and 103rd amendment act was also made in 2019 for economic weaker section of society at the time supreme court also put condition that uh, economy cannot be the sole criteria for the reservation caste in india up to large extent represent the social or educational backwardness and social and educational backwardness should be considered as one of the primary criteria for providing extending reservation to weaker section of society so through 103rd amendment act Article 15, sub clause six, a state can make a special provision for economic weaker section of society. Or Article 16, sub clause six, a state can make a special provision for providing reservation in job up to maximum 10 percent within Article 16, sub clause six. So. this reservation provided by bihar government is this violation of supreme court verdict or not it depend on you to decide further petition may challenge but bihar government very well can defend itself that uh, the circumstances of particular state like bihar different from other state other central state so if uh, based on caste census particular section of society especially weaker section poor section of society consist of the largest section of society then reservation should also be largest the reservation need also be 
increased so this much for today if there is any query with respect to it or uh, you want more clarity on anything or you want more such video you can comment you can share like thank you very much thanks a lot bye bye take care